Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. To all those that are new here, hi, my name is Leanne Ryan Hume and I make videos about living life with a disability, uh, talking about personal growth, productivity, and so much more. So if any of that is of interest to you, then please make sure to like this video and subscribe so you can join our amazing community of like-minded people. So today's video is going to actually be somewhat of a I guess life update. So much has happened since the last time I sat down and talked to all of you. As you can already tell from the background behind me, uh, it is very different from the video that I've done. Uh, if you haven't watched that uh, yet, then please make sure to check it out. I think it'll be either here or here. Um, but basically last time I connected with you has been in Edinburgh. It was a magical time, absolutely loved it. But since then, a lot has happened and I thought I'd take the opportunity to maybe sit down for a bit of a chit chat with you. Uh, so make sure you have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and we can dive right in. So 2022 was always going to be a year of travel for us. Uh, and by us, I mean myself and my husband. So since the fellowships we won uh, were actually taking us around the world, we've decided that we will pack everything that we've accumulated in the last two and a half years of living in Oxford and Edinburgh and just put them away. Um, and we just decided to each pack one suitcase, one carry-on and a backpack, and that was it. So I won a fellowship that took me to Italy, more specifically Florence and Tuscany. It was at the European University Institute. So it was basically called the Policy Leaders Fellowship at the Transnational Governance School um, at the EUI. It was a great experience. It was about five months of living in Italy and I have absolutely enjoyed every single bit of it. The people, the fellowship itself, the experience that I gathered and gained throughout it was just spectacular. I'll make sure to include a link down below in the description box in case you're interested in learning more about it and perhaps even apply. I would say just in general, these five months of living in Italy have been absolutely a dream. Immersing myself in an Italian culture, Italian cuisine, of course, how not? All these amazing pasta dishes were just mwah, delicioso. <laughs> Yeah, it was basically five months of living La Dolce Vita. Honestly, I can't believe I've even left Italy, but I'm sure I'll be back. <laughs> um, but yeah, after Italy, um, uh, we've basically moved to Washington, D.C. in the U.S., which is where I am uh, talking to you actually now. Um, we have, we've rented this beautiful apartment um, that was just fully furnished to make our move and transitions between countries a lot easier of course because uh, in 2022 we knew that we were moving not once but actually twice to Italy and the US and, and this is something we've always like loved to do is find fully furnished accommodation to just make the whole move a bit easier for us and so now we're based out of Washington DC while my husband is doing a fellowship at the Library of Congress I'm immensely proud of him he actually also just got a chapter published in a book uh, just a couple of days ago so that was uh, amazing to see but uh, yeah kind of like all these things happening and then now another upcoming move that's gonna come and I'll Hopefully I'll be able to talk more about it um, in just a few months actually. I'm excited about that. And so yeah, for now we're basically based out of Washington DC um, and I'm just excited to be back here in the city that you know we we met actually five years ago so it's just nice to reminisce on all these kind of special moments we had i'm very lucky to have some of my closest friends from my time in oxford university um, also being based in washington dc and being able to continue connecting with them and uh, just growing our friendship so i'm incredibly grateful for that but another major shift or change that i've had actually in the last year or last couple of months have been number one my hair color it definitely got darker <laughs> and i've had it you know I've, I've had blonde highlights slash balayage for the last four years or so so i just thought okay you know what i want some change i want to go back to kind of darker tones and roots um and so that's kind of where i'm at at the moment and i like it um, and then the other 
major thing. I don't know if you've noticed it already or not, but I actually ended up getting Invisalign. So right now I'm on my seventh tray and I basically swap or switch trays every week. Um, and I have 27 trays in total, so just short under seven months of a treatment plan. Um, so right now I'm, I've been like, I guess I'm a month and a half in and I really want to make a video about just kind of like, you know, my journey with Invisalign, tips and tricks and how to kind of like, you know, deal with this uh, new thing. I definitely sometimes have a lisp, um, just as my mouth and tongue is kind of getting used to this new thing. So it's, it's quite funny to kind of see that or adjust to it and but, but I'm really hoping that um, you know after all these crazy moves and things that I've had over the past few months that haven't really allowed me to be as present as I want to be on YouTube um, I'm really hoping that for the next few months I'll be able to be a bit more consistent with it and I'll be able to share more about my life both with you know um, both about kind of living with a disability and just empowerment, personal growth and so on, but also on the other hand, share a bit more on productivity, public speaking. But yeah, I've been filling my days here with kind of coaching some of my clients, doing my public speaking engagements, as well as um, hitting the gym pretty consistently actually, uh, which I've been really happy with because it's making me feel a lot um, stronger, more confident, especially with my illness, and it's allowing me to, to be more stable, which I really appreciate. And with some time, I'll be able to like have some type of content about a uh, working out at the gym with a disability and like the importance of adaptations and realizing that you have a space in the gym as well and you should feel included and um, not worry about how you're gonna look or um, what kind of exercises you can do but rather actually feel free to do it all. So I'll just leave it at that here and I hope that you've enjoyed this video of this life update of what we've been up to for the last couple of months, all this crazy chaos that was going on. And I look forward to being able to connect with you again. Um, I do post more consistently on Instagram, kind of like more behind the scenes of my day to day and uh, the travels that we do. So make sure you follow there if that is of interest to you. And until next time.